Welcome back everybody to our March giveaway. So I'm gonna give it just a couple of moments. I kind of, you know, last month we didn't actually do a live giveaway on drawing simply because I wasn't feeling well. So uh, I did that one offline and I'm just all out of practice. So I went and uh, set up the live giveaway on YouTube and I realized I had forgotten to make it public. So I don't know if, uh, Anybody's going to join us. We've got a couple of people in the chat room. I just made it live. So hopefully we'll have a minute or so to get some more people in the room. But today, as you can see, we are going to be playing um, our Clue Haunted Mansion game. And that is because the prize we are giving away today is the Haunted Mansion uh, candle from Park Sense. So these are candles made to smell like your favorite attractions in various theme parks. Of course, this is from Disney World and Disneyland, my favorite place. And that was my question for the month. It was, uh, what is your favorite theme park attraction if you um, are into such things? And it seems like a lot of people aren't. Of course, I am. And uh, I encourage all of you out there to do so as well, because theme parks are just fun. So anyway... Um, as I was saying, we are giving away the Haunted Mansion candle, though it's not really a, a Disney product. It's Park Sense, but it's clearly the Haunted Mansion. And I couldn't tell you what it smelled like, but I asked Tom to give me his opinion a moment ago, and he thinks it's kind of a musky, sweet, smoky smell. So whoever wins this, I'm relying on you when you light it. Maybe it'll smell a little bit different. You're going to have to let me know what it smells like. Okay, so looks like we have got a few more people in the room now, so thank you all for joining. Again, sorry about the uh, late notifications on the video. Again, we're gonna be playing um, our elimination game like we do every month, this month with the Clue Haunted Mansion game. And what I've gone ahead and done is taken everybody who has entered by commenting on the giveaway announcement video. Um, I have assigned you a Clue Suspect and I'm in a moment going to divvy you up around the clue board, and then we'll start eliminating them. But first we're gonna pull in the camera and take a closer look at the board itself and see the rooms that we're playing with. All right. So we're actually gonna start down here in the foyer. We also have the portrait chamber, the seance room, the graveyard, the ballroom, the conservatory, the mausoleum, the library, and the attic. All right, so those are some of our favorite rooms of the Haunted Mansion ride. Of course, if you have never been on the Haunted Mansion ride, you should definitely at least watch a ride through on YouTube because it's amazing. So like I said, I have taken all of you who've entered and I'm going to start divvying you up into the rooms just randomly. And we in the chat room are gonna start eliminating them. So if anybody wants to go ahead and start listing off some rooms, We'll start eliminating everyone in that room one at a time. And if you don't remember what those room names are, they're listed right here. So as soon as I finish this, I'm gonna take a look and see what the first room we're going to eliminate is. And it's just gonna be the first one I see, not necessarily the first one that was called out. So here we go. The first one I see is the attic. So I'm just gonna scribble that off so we don't try and revisit it. And all right we are going to start eliminating. But I am also pulling out my magic resurrection cauldron, which you can't see off screen, but I'll talk about that here in a moment before I forget. So the ones we are eliminating in this first round, pay attention in case it is your card, you're gonna to wanna to remember it. We have Beverly Marsh from It Clue. That was Cody Holmes who won a couple months ago. We also have Rhoda T. Stephanie Shrutek's patron bonus. Now, if you are a patron of mine, you get automatically entered in the giveaways and you get a bonus entry. All right, we also have Southern Screams, Susan B, JDB, Valerie S, Antivira Charles 50, Haunts, Hannah K. Carla P and Liz Horror Fan. Okay, so as I mentioned, I've got my Magic Resurrection bucket now here off on the side. And if you have been eliminated, I've thrown you into the bucket and at the very last round, we are going to resurrect 
one, maybe two, depends on how many cards are in play. Um, and you may have a chance in the final round still, so pay attention to which card was yours. All right, next I see the foyer, so cross that off. And in that room, we're going to start with Professor Plum from one of the uh, European Cluedo games. That was Lauren McLean's patron bonus. We also have uh, Silath, Anna Marie C, Heather St. John, Erie Eric, CMJ, Mary B, Sharon Thomas's patron bonus, Kip and Jace's patron bonus, Julie Rawlings, Vincent Z, and C. Tom's patron bonus. Okay, next up we are going to the graveyard. Cross that one off. And not used to this board. That's not it. That's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Okay, I think I found it. Nope, that's not it either. <laughs> All right. um, here we go, graveyard. All right, we're gonna start with Cersei Lannister from Game of Thrones Clue. That was Stephen Miles. We also have Josh S. Tierra's patron bonus. B. Hugh. Uh, whatever that is, realty. Felicia G. Cyber I four A. Michael H. Lady D. Southern Screams patron bonus. Shannon Fredrickson. And Cauldron Cindy. Okay. Next up, we are going where? All right. Looking up, I don't see any rooms we haven't mentioned yet. Let me start scrolling up unless someone wants to call out another room. Uh, let's see. I see. Hmm. Nothing yet. So if anybody's out there wants to go ahead and call out a room. All right. We have the ballroom. Cross that one off. And let's see who was in the ballroom, starting with Colonel Mustard. That was Spooky Bev. We also have Kathy L. Sharon Thomas. Uh, Kathy B. The Halloween Mask Horror Fan. Kathy Lacey's Patron Bonus. Acorns and Oak. Halloween 365. Dusty WW, Music Girl, Lady D's Patron Bonus, and Stephen Miles' Patron Bonus. All right. Four rooms to go. Four rooms to eliminate and one that will remain. I see the library. Okay. Crossing off the library, which should be this one. All right. From the library, we're going to start with Melee, the Elf Wizard from Dungeons and Dragons Clue, Cobwebs and Candlesticks. We also have Penny Dreadful, Linda R, L Kroll, Shannon Fredrickson's Patron Bonus, Julie Rawlings' Patron Bonus, Indiana Jones' Patron Bonus, The Holiday Guy, Allison Waldron's Patron Bonus, Brady Zone's Patron Bonus. Spooky Spectacles patron bonus. Okay, a lot of patron bonuses in that room, although it's just all completely random, and I tried to mix them up fairly well, so that was amazing. All right, where are we going next? Uh, I see the mausoleum. So let's go there. All right, mausoleum, got it, first try, all right. I'm going to start with Mrs. White from one of the original Cluedo games. That was Chunga Fay. Let's have Spooky Bev's Patron Bonus, Ryan79, Josh the Inflatable Intractor Guy, who won last month, T Dub, Bob Calderon, Acorns and Oak Patron Bonus, Freddy Zone, Erie Eric's Patron Bonus, Paula Allison. Mary Ann S. and Susie P. All right, 
three rooms to go. Where are we going next? The seance room. All right, crossing that one off. That should be this one. In the seance room, we have Cali Freakin' Fornia from Juicy Couture's clue game at CC. We also have Spooky Spectacle, Skull Crane Entertainment, uh, JQJ Movie Reviews, Indiana Jones, C. Tom, Allison Waldron, Halloween Inflatable Geek, Edgewater B, Paula Allison's Patron Bonus, Laura B, and Kyle P. All right, and the last room we are eliminating, I see, is the conservatory. All right, from the conservatory. Starting with George Costanza from Seinfeld Clue. That is Janice D. We also have William B. Prince Alarming 85's patron bonus. Little Vintage Me. Uh, Stephanie Shrutek. Carla Perea's patron bonus, Skull Crane Entertainment's patron bonus, Rob Ferguson, Huggins since 79, April A, Heather St. John's patron bonus, and Irma C. All right, that means we are left with one room, and that is the portrait chamber. And I forgot to actually tell you the concept of the Haunted Mansion clue game. It is uh, who got haunted by which ghost in which room? So now we know it was the portrait gallery. We're going to find out who was haunted next. So we have really six guests, but we are going to cut that down to four. We're going to call Mickey and Minnie as one, Donald and Daisy Duck as one. We have Goofy and Pluto. So I am just going to... Uh, divvy up the remaining suspects randomly, and we are going to assign them one of these four remaining guests, and we are going to eliminate three of them. So who are we eliminating first? I see Mickey Mouse. So Mickey and Minnie saying goodbye to them. All right. Again, Mickey and Minnie are a pair. So... We are eliminating Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. And they were protecting Stan Uris, which was Ryan79's patron bonus. We also have Professor S, that was Emeridine. And then we have Margaret Petrie. Okay, so by Mickey and Minnie, we still have Donald and Daisy, Goofy and Pluto. I see Goofy. Someone's asking about resurrections in the chat room. That's gonna be in the final round. All right, so we just did Goofy. So bring in the camera. Take a look at who is with Goofy. We have Ron Weasley, that was Kip and Jace. And we also have Tierra and Prince Alarming 85. Okay, so Pluto and Donald and Daisy Duck. I see Donald and Daisy. So Donald and Daisy taking a hike. All right, Donald, Daisy, and Miss Scarlet, who was B. Hughes' patron bonus, as well as Mike Hanlon, which was ever done. Okay, now we have made it to the final round. Okay, so we know that Pluto was haunted in the portrait chamber, and we have three people that he was haunted with. I guess. So that means we are resurrecting three people from the Magic Resurrection Cauldron. Give it a good mix here, and I'll ask Tom to draw three people. All right. One, two, three. So do you remember where these are cards? We have Stan Uris, Signora Rosa, and Madame Pomfrey. So I'm going to put them down, put our other remaining suspects 
here as well. And I'm going to divvy up the ghosts amongst them. So the ghosts here, we have the bride, the skeleton, the prisoner, the traveler, the opera singer, and the mariner. Now in this round, we are voting for who is going to win the fabulous Haunted Mansion candle. So you get one vote. Go ahead and in the chat room, start voting. Um, one vote, please, only. And whoever ends up with the most votes survives, or I guess was haunted. So, But you still survive. You were saved, I guess. Um, you saved Pluto from being haunted by one of these ghosts in the portrait chamber. So give you just a moment to do that. In the meantime, I guess we'll just take a quick look at the box. I really love this board. It's very reminiscent of the Haunted Mansion, again, if you are uh, a fan of the Disney ride. But here in the instruction book, it gives a little bit of background here, so let's go ahead and see. Welcome, foolish mortals. It says, the object of this game. Welcome, wandering spirit, to the Clue Haunted Mansion edition. We have 999 ghosts here, all of whom are simply dying to meet you, but we are more than happy to take on one more soul. That's right. Once inside, guests may unwillingly become permanent residents. If you wish to return to the living realm, you must venture through the haunted mansion and be the first guest to correctly identify or answer Sorry, these three questions. Which guest was haunted? Which ghost haunted the guest? And in which room did the haunting take place? Well, in our little game here, it was Pluto in the portrait chamber, but who haunted him? Tom, do we have a ghost yet? All right, we have a ghost, so I'm calling an end to the voting. Okay, so we will eliminate these in order, I guess. So, all right, the first one we are going to eliminate is... The prisoner. Prisoner got no votes. <laughs> so poor prisoner. That was Professor Plum, who was Josh the Inflatable and Tractor Guy's patron bonus. He won last month, got very close again. Okay. All right, who is next? Let's go with the Traveler. The Traveler also got zero votes. <laughs> so the Traveler. That was Hermione Granger. And that was Lauren McLean. Sorry, Lauren. All right, you were close, but no votes. All right. And the last one to get no votes <laughs> was the Mariner. Who is the Mariner? That was Madame Pomfrey resurrected. That was Halloween Inflatable Geek. Sorry, Halloween Inflatable Geek. Okay, so now we're getting down to the people who actually got votes. And with two votes, we have the Opera Singer. I actually kind of thought the opera singer might win this time, but I was wrong. All right, so the opera singer was Signorina Rosa, and that was Stephanie Shrutek. All right, so close, Stephanie. So we have two left, the skeleton and the bride. Whoops. Which one? With five votes, we are eliminating the bride. I'm sorry. And that was... Nadia Yasser from 24 Clue. That was Halloween Inflatable Geek. Wow, two chances in the final round, but you didn't quite make it through. Which means the winner is the skeleton with eight votes. Okay, so we have the skeleton who haunted Pluto in the portrait chamber, but Pluto was saved by someone who was resurrected. That was Stan Uris. Who was it? Ryan79, who, who won last month, I think. So, oh, wow. Two months in a row. Patron bonus. Sure, uh, it pays to be a patron, I guess. But everybody is, doesn't give you any extra chance. Well, it gives you that extra chance, but you know, you never know who's going to win. This time it was Ryan79 as Stan Yores. So thank you, Ryan79, for being a patron. Thank you all out there for joining me today. If you want to be a patron, be sure to check out my Patreon page. Um, but that'll do it for today. So thank you all for joining me. If you didn't win this time, don't worry. Stay tuned. Next month, we'll be doing something else. I uh, have to come up with something fun. So if you have any fun ideas, let me know. But that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Happy haunting.